Hello everybody, welcome back to Wampleville. Welcome, back to, welcome to something that's going to be a little bit different. A little bit different. Well, last night we were painting the Battlefleet Gothic ships. Tonight we're painting some Halo stuff. This is the new Halo Flashpoint game that's coming out this fall from Mantic. We've got four miniatures here. Hey, the Armored Wolf. <coughs> Again, sorry for the delay. Uh, all of a sudden I was getting messages from Kathy's mom, so we... I was just trying to raid her back. So we got two urban, and we've got two uh, kind of in a jungle setting. Now they've they have a whole bunch of different colors on these guys here. I do actually have this screen. Hey there, Landrass. Nice to see you. So I'm not doing the purple one. I'm gonna actually just do kind of a darker gray one there. So you got sort of almost like a desert camo there. We got a green guy or whatever. So that's uh. They actually ha hey there Ryan nice to see you so yeah Ryan uh, thanks uh, well I'm who knows maybe I need to head back to the house to grab something or something like that so that would be very helpful too uh, this one actually as you can see it's got some flamey stuff on there it's an awful lot like what we did here well they're done landings so we're gonna do that same same kind of thing I might even uh, start hitting this guy first We'll just do some bluish gray on him. Maybe, uh, no, we'll go more of a warm, a warm gray on him. Even warmer with our firelight right here. That's for sure. Sorry for the delay. I was, uh, I was trying to film a video, so that's one other reason why things are a wee bit, a uh, wee bit delayed here. All right, we're gonna just start doing some of this here. Let's get it. Let's get it rolling. Let's get this going here. Super complicated, dry brushy stuff. I mean, this this right here. This is uh, nuclear physics 101 right here. This is difficult stuff. Big old brush doing some dry brush. Hey there, Nurgle Matthew. Nice to see you. I hope that you're doing well. Now, where's my other urban? Vase. I'm going to do this, and actually just going to do this too. Again, it's super complicated. Hey, Crazy Wolf, nice to see you again. Uh, happy Saturday, everybody. I hope that your Saturday was a good one. Or, uh, well, maybe you got a chance to play some games or do something. Hopefully something fun. I'll probably be, not probably, I will be doing a bit of a uh, pinline washy thing over the top of uh, this. Well, all of them, really. Ah, uh, geez, hell again, nice to see you. Uh, sorry, hell again, I think I didn't get a chance to message you today. It's, uh, well, there's just lots of fallout and stuff. And, of course, trying to get ready for the Adepticon thing. So, sorry, sorry about that. And of course, hell again later if, if you're going to be able to hang around for a bit. If you wanted to share uh, links to uh, all of your watercolors and your 2D stuff, that'd be sensational too. All right, I'm just going to stop there. Let's get into some of our source lighting here. I'm just going to grab me another filbert brush like this one here. We're, um, eh, I guess yeah, I'll probably start to put some more on my floral orange out there too. So hell again, uh, glad that at least a you know, a little bit better for sure. I'm gonna say that would definitely reach all the way out to there. Again, so I just made the flames the usual way with the heavy gloss gel. Nothing uh, nothing fancy there. So crazy wolf, I hope that you're doing all. Oh, and again, uh, these arrived yesterday. <coughs> yesterday, these will be available at Adepticon. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a post tomorrow about them, just because have to. Too much invested in those to not do that. So we will go ahead and make a post on those. So again, just hitting this with. Some of our dry brushy stuff here. We're going to get a little later now with orange. Some of the yellow. Let's do this now. 
Ah, there we are. Again, this uh, it, it ain't complicated, is it? <laughs> it ain't complicated. These are uh, basing bits from Make It Epic, by the way. All of these are a little bit of balsa wood there, ironically enough, to uh, set the fire blazing. Oh, that's fantastic, Hell again. That is fantastic. Now, you know, I definitely would love seeing that. Ooh, uh, let's grab you. Yep, that does reach the helmet. Let's, uh, put a wee bit up there. Maybe even a little bit on the gun. Okay. Now, I will do something like this here. Uh, better... Whatever's on this brush. Oh, that's right. Some of these brushes, I still didn't even clean them from the video. That's just how recently it was that I was filming. Uh, so, uh, well, how again? Actually, I think there's, uh, there's a decent amount of folks in the chat. Why don't you share yourself? Same thing there, Ryan. You want to share something in the chat? Why don't you? Why don't you do that now? So, some fabulous art by by Halligan and by Ryan. This is not our lightest light, but it uh, it starts getting us there. It starts the process. Well, that don't belong there. Does it? There are no mistakes with oils, but there are makeup sponges. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was hard. That was difficult. Wow, look at that. Uh, that took so much out of me, I'm not sure I can continue. Might just have to stop right there. That was just too much. Can't, uh, can't survive that much hard work. It begins. Everybody, please check out the Insta link there that Ryan shared. And again, hell again, you want to share some of your fabulous artwork there, please, uh, please go ahead, do that. That would be sensational. You know what? I might just hit this uh, a little bit right now. Yeah, again, uh, this this is this is so exhausting. This takes so long. I mean, come on, this is uh, this has taken eight minutes so far. I mean, geez, how in the world am I supposed to keep going when I've spent eight minutes to do? Only that much. Everybody, please check out the Instagram link that Allegan just shared. Some fabulous historical, some 2D art. Please check that out. Just like, uh, just like Ryan's stuff there. Uh, Crazy Wolf. Uh, well, if you would, uh, I don't know if you have pictures of those. If you want to share those, that'd be fantastic. Uh, well, actually, well, here's the here's the key thing. Uh, Crazy Wolf has that also made the made things go faster than they otherwise would have. Uh, I'm thinking that it's probably had a a little bit of a helping hand. So here's hoping that that's made a big difference for you. So again, everybody, please check out uh, all that lovely stuff posted by Helligan and by Ryan, and hopefully by Crazy Wolf too. Uh, so yeah, like like Armored Wolf says, uh, maybe Ixne on the uh, universe a eh, knowing about Alec Adepticon a. Eh? Uh, so again, everybody, please give Blades eighty one to follow, and of course Monster Den minis. So Monster Den, I hope that uh, you're all good for your Adeptico uh, Adepticon stuff. Uh, so Denethor, it has uh, certainly been a uh, mountain of insanity here, for sure. Trying to film the the rest of the videos. Oh, look at this! A uh, little bit of object source lighting here. 
Again, it's so difficult, right? Look at how tough this is. This has taken all of 10 minutes. Like I was just saying before, I don't know, man. This is this is taking 10 minutes. I'm not sure I can keep going. It's uh, it's too uh, too taxing. Too taxing. Now we got two that are urban. Two in kind of an urban setting, and they wanted two in more of a jungle setting. We're going to be doing different colors on these guys. Again, those are all make it epic basing bits right there. Uh, Monster Dent, there's anything you want to share in the chat? Please go on ahead. So this, they have a trailer. It's a Halo Flashpoint Spartans teaser trailer. So it's a tabletop miniatures game from Mantic. Uh, that's probably on their YouTube channel right there, so you can go check that out. And uh, we're going to try and do a few of those color schemes here tonight. Now let, let's try to throw in some of our lighter stuff here on, of course, the uh, our source lit surfaces there. So, Blades, uh, I, I, all of your stuff is done now, right? All your stuff is done. And basically, what I'm uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring all the Shatterpoint stuff. Uh, well, I also will be bringing. I still gotta magnetize all of these. I'm gonna be bringing a bunch of the Tomb King stuff, the Bretonian stuff. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Bla now, blades. Ooh, no, I won't say it because it's it'll jinx you. I'm not even gonna say it. I don't even want you to think of what it is that I'm saying because I don't want that to be in your head. So don't even think about what I was just saying right there just ignore me ignore me completely um, so uh, so again yeah how again uh, what will kind of be nice is being able to well for people to be able to see the stuff uh, in person right all the stuff that you typically only see in puppet shows or whatever now people will actually be able to see it in person Again, uh, this is, does it get any easier than this here? And again, Monster Down, if you want to share things you've been working on in the chat, please go ahead and share those. Everybody, again, please give Monster Down minis and, uh, and Blades81 a follow. I need to get me a little bit more towards the orange here. Not so much of the yellow, a little more towards the orange here on the these are the uh, literally called blasted concrete pillars now I did add uh, these are uh, leftover support nubs there or support pieces from prints which uh, we do that all the time where's my oh and I'll try to have some of these guys there too I got to get some uh, magnets on their bases but look at that again Bulletin board cork, just like here, and then a bunch of cured supports. That's how it is. It's basically junk. Uh, I will not be live streaming from there, uh, hell again, except there's a charity stream that's going to be happening uh, from You Got Me Monologuing. My guess is at some point on Saturday I'll join him because uh, he's got a whole bunch of painters that are going to do that. And that's, uh, that's something that Kathy and I did uh, the last time we were at Adepticon. It was his first time doing that. So that'll go, well, I'll try to join him on that. I know he's doing, uh, oh gosh, I forget what figures he's painting. I think it might be Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff. Or it's uh, it's superhero stuff, that I know. Uh, I don't know what the, what game specifically it's from or whatever, but I do know he's doing that. Hey, Condom Riveries, nice to see ya. Yes, the, this is uh, the Adepticon prep here has been very stressful. And it got more stressful. Are, are they necessarily the most fantastic paints ever? No. But like I was saying uh, last night, I, well, maybe I was saying it on my tutorial video that I was filming right before the stream. I, I'm really, I'm not a fan of the mediums. They're just, I would rather just use the Alkid paints. Now, of course, that does limit you on colors. So, and of course, it also extinguishes uh, any chance you've got of doing, say, some staining. However, 
you could just take this approach, right, where we do all of the dry brushing stuff. Now you can see that this is starting to uh, to change a little bit, right? It's not quite so shiny. Now I'm looking at the uh, the mask. Let me see if I can't get a spot of something that's more of a bluish tone in here. Where's my Prussian blue? Let's bring out the Prussian, some indigo. We'll do this. You know what? I might just go ahead with the... I wasn't originally going to do it. I think I'm going to do the lighter blue on this. Yeah. I might just go ahead and do that. Wasn't going to originally, but I think uh, that might be something interesting. So we will... Take some of this. Let's see, maybe some of the indigo touch of our. It's the. Uh, in some ways, it almost looks a bit like a space wolf's gray here. And now, now I'm just kind of working off of the references that um that I see here. That also looks like it gets some of this. I can always do another pin line wash up here. You know what? I'm going to make that even easier for myself. I'm just going to uh, get all the orange out of this. Just uh, use some of my brush cleaner here. And remember, uh, the thinner thins the paint. Brush cleaner cleans the brushes. Oh, geez, I better remember to bring some of this with me. So again, Windsor Newton, not expensive stuff. It's also for acrylic paints. Kathy used to use this for acrylics all the time, every single day. Not hazardous, no vapors. When it comes to the thinner, less is more and more is way too much. Look at that, it's a water bottle cap. It's all the thinner we're going to be using tonight. Thank you so much, Armored Wolf, for posting a link to the YouTube channel. Uh, I try to have uh, try to have new videos there when possible for folks. Uh, yeah, those are usually our Twitch sessions that I'll sort of truncate, make them a little shorter, toss them up on the YouTube channel. I uh, usually uh, remove things like the hype train, sad to say, and uh, other interactions. Is this okay? That should be, yes, just the... Uh, our armor color. So we're just uh, now we're starting to work in some of our actual armor color. Oh look, it's still a dry brush. It's no different than what I was doing over here. Same same concept, same idea. Just a dry brush. Uh, that initial little uh, bit of pin line washing that I was doing. Well, guess what? That's mixing in there too shows this as being a lighter blue as well. Uh, that, that actually shows as red, so we'll leave that alone. So yeah, Cavill, the... Uh, it, it's funny because it just it looks so haphazard. Right, and uh, we don't... No death grip on the brush either. That is why... We always say, caress the brush, do not crush the brush. An easy grip on the brush. Uh, all kidding aside, you, we mentioned it before, you will be less tired because you're not quite literally creating that tension for yourself. Just ask the folks that have kind of uh, ab you know, adopted that approach. They say, yeah, you know, I can paint for two, three, four hours, and I just don't feel quite so knackered as they might say in some parts. Uh, Elite, I was telling Armored Wolf that, I don't know, I think that's like a 30-second video here that Mantic has on their YouTube channel for this. That is 30 seconds more than anything I've seen of Halo. I didn't even know what it looked like. I've never seen... I've heard of it for, well, what, 20 years practically? 
I've, I never actually saw anything. So as of 24, no, I'm going to say about 36 hours ago, I'd never seen anything Halo before until these miniatures showed up and I put bases on them and now I'm painting them. <laughs> hey there, Jack Knight. Nice to see you. All right, well, hell again, thank you so much for being here. And again, everybody, please uh, check out that fantastic uh, art link there that Halligan posted. And Halligan, of course, looking forward to seeing that layout. Uh, it's going to be really spectacular for sure. Hey, Rockin' Robin, how you doing? Uh, so Rockin' Robin, I, uh, I had gotten some STL uh, printed figs, some digitally printed figs. Uh, they ended up sending these kind of resin test figures to me. V I mean, we're just talking a matter of days ago. I mean, they just showed up in the mail. It, it's it, All of this is uh, very much last minute, that's for sure. Uh, that's Fantastic Elite. Yeah, I know a bunch of folks, they've asked me about doing Halo stuff. Well, if Mantic is going to be doing Halo stuff... Uh, needless to say, um, I'll try and do some uh, tutorial videos on this too. Yeah, we'll try and get you some tutorial videos on this. Like the Shatterpoint stuff, we'll do basing videos. So I'll probably do a, a Halo series. And obviously things like this. Maybe, uh, maybe you got a conduit or something like that. That's, uh, well obviously some of the stuff we do on our 40k minis. Nope, nope, nope. That is something we're just going to take out here. Because that should be... There we go. Okay. Ah, that's better. So, Deck Knight, I hope that you're doing well. Uh, Nick, so uh, I'll take another look-see at that after the stream. I only saw it right before I was going to start the stream. It could be interesting. Uh, especially, I mean, there are some, oh, what would you say, some common tasks that you do a lot with the editing. Actually, uh, Nixel, I thought it was a uh, almost kind of like a stream deck type of thing. Yeah, I thought it was actually uh, like a stream deck type thing. So I didn't realize it was uh, more of a video editing device. Again, I did not get a chance to really see it too well. I might also try to do, maybe I'll try to do a little bit of chipping on this, because why not? Why not? Maybe we'll try to do a little bit of chipping on this guy here, if we can. So, great to see you there, Deck Knight. Again, I hope that you're doing really well. I'm going to say that that's got to be also part of our armor right there. So, yeah, we're going to do that also with the lighter blue let me get back to and that's some of the indigo there it's about we yeah we need to shoot this up a little bit more let's do that glad that you're doing well there uh nixel if that uh, actually oh nixel here you go um if, if you look through the specs See if it's compatible with any of the Sony video editing software. Because that's what I use. So it's the Sony video editing software. I think I'm using Sony 19 or Sony 20 or something like that. So Vegas. Sony Vegas 20 or something like that. Uh, so, hey, oh, Rottweiler. Everybody, please give Rottweiler a follow. Uh, Rottweiler, if you want to share anything in the chat, please go on ahead. Now, Rottweiler, are we going to be doing any more streams before Adepticon? Now, uh, Blades, I'm, I'm assuming that you're not going to stream on Monday, right? Because you're going to be busy packing and getting ready to go. I don't... Uh, <laughs> Monday would be dicey trying to do a stream because there's just so much stuff to get done here. 
And obviously anything that I streamed, I wouldn't be able to bring to it. Well, I could possibly bring it to Adepticon, but so I might not be able to stream Monday. I don't know. Maybe I try to do a stream on Sunday or something. Uh, well, everybody, please give uh, give Rottweiler a follow. And of course, Rottweiler, again, you want to share something in the chat there. Go on ahead do that. So here, let's do this right here. Again, some of that, that sort of Space Wolves gray. Uh, so Rottweiler, the Fort Wample is uh, located under the under the escalators, like always, that will still be there. If that's what Castle is, I'm assuming, but we all know what the first three letters in assume are. So I try, I try never to assume anything. So, uh, Rottweiler, again, I, I hope that you got everything uh, pretty well done for Adepticon. There is a ton of stuff still yet for me to do. Now, they, they show that uh, that's basically red there. So, we'll, we'll try and, st again, stick as much with the official color scheme, if you want to call it that. That to do a little bit more here. Uh, so the the vast majority of the stuff that I would be doing at Fort Wapo probably would be in that sort of after hours time. So less during the day, for a couple of different reasons. But certainly during the late night hours, that that's my primary time to be in Fort Wapo. Is when everything else is long since closed closed down ah, that's actually some uh, some bits of orange on this guy here is that also I'm gonna say that is also part of the well essentially space and space wolves gray armor light there a little bit of our light over here there too uh, and this one I will maybe go with a let's see uh, now there's also one that is violet maybe I will do the violet on that I'm not sure we'll, we'll find out here uh, so, Rottweiler, if you can bring your own oils with you, I suggest you do that because, well, you might be familiar, right? they will be your your paints. You'll have probably a little more familiarity with them, especially maybe if there's some different brands that you've been messing around with. So it certainly can't hurt to bring those. And obviously, whatever brushes you have, too, just again, the... It would just increase the familiarity that you have with the stuff, for sure. Not a bad idea. Now, there it, it seems like there is still some of... Now, that would definitely be red there. Okay. And the shoulder also shows up as red. But I'm going to do that as a, a cooler red. So, that's where we're going to kind of hear the lean red. It's going to be a cooler red. It's uh, very ironic that it's going to have to be red over there. Now, I don't want it to be too magenta or pink or anything like that, but it also has to be a cooler red than what's going on here. So, a little, little bit of a color temperature game that we're going to play right here. Uh, well, Rottweiler, that uh, hey, that's uh, not not too bad if they're unopen. Be super easy to bring them then, right? Because then you don't have to worry. Don't have to worry about them opening up or leaking or be uh, have a little bit of 
you know, with the paint around the top of them there. Uh, so Cuthbert, now again, I have not, I, I was actually technically at the hotel back in November or something like that, maybe. Uh, now the, the side parking lot was still open at that time. Don't know if that's still the case. That that I could not say again. I have not been back to the hotel since probably last November. Again, okay, that is lighter, but you can see there's a color temperature difference. Very orangey. That is not orangey. There is uh, so far there has been no yellow harmed in the lightening of this red, which is not the usual case, right? Typically. That, uh, that's something we're reaching for sooner rather than later. Uh, Grey Wolf Studio, I know you don't have pictures of that, but did you want to share maybe some of your uh, Black Plague zombie side stuff in the chat there? Uh, so, Nixo, well, how was it uh, compatible or was it compatible with the uh, Sony Vegas Pro stuff? I mean, if it's not, no big deal. Not a problem. Actually, what I'm usually generally after these days is uh, camera booms and that sort of stuff. And uh, actually, UPC backups, believe it or not. That's uh, almost every single device I have here is on its own UPC backup. Every computer, every printer is on its own. UPC backup. Gonna give me a little bit of the light up there. A little bit. and again, that's got to be a cooler color. If it's too warm, it's just gonna blend right into that. So yeah, Nixel, the uh, there's one just for the router. There's one on each computer, so there's one, two, there's three computers just in this room, one downstairs. Each again with its own UPC. There's uh, one, two, three printers right now, again, each with its own backup. I think the first time we got a chance to test those is when they were doing the electrical work for the new garage, and he accidentally flipped the entire circuit breaker instead of just turning one on. He turned the whole house off for a second, but that's how we know. Uh, that's how we know it works, because there was no interruption. Ooh, that might be able to. I got some of the uh, radi radiant green and uh, some of our Prussian blue there. Blending brush. Let's do that. Yeah, so Grey Wolf, if you don't mind sharing that, that'd be spectacular. Uh, thanks, Nixel. Appreciate that. Oh, you know what? Ah, yes, indeed. This should get some of our orange here. Uh, really, well, I was almost... I was kind of going to go in that direction because of the whole rule of cool type thing, but... Uh, it actually does show that our source lighting does reach to here. So uh, that's that's uh, so much the better. That needs more. So now we're going to start to refine some of this. And, uh, and actually, ironically, some of it gets more orangey, which might darken it down a little bit, but that's actually more appropriate. Ah, yeah, here we are. A uh, little Indian yellow. That was getting a bit on the peachy side. So as soon as you add any kind of opaque, especially to the fluorescent, that will unfortunately start to make it more of a peachy type of a color there. So we, we needed to compensate. We did that. Lighten up you as well. Okay. It, 
it might reach all the way over to there actually this is uh, by no means our lightest light blending brush we do that we need a little bit more of that down here as well now we'll consult the oracle of the flashlight once he also oh, that does still get some orange here okay i was thinking it was blocked by this piece of uh, concrete there but apparently the edge of that still gets some of our orange speaking of orange wow yeah uh, that was just uh, some dry brush stuff that we did there so we're gonna try and once again do a little bit more brushing this together eh, a little thinner now that was uh, starting to get a little bit spotty there we grab some thinner that's better Ooh, I think the edge of this needs to catch some light here let me uh, get some of our now we do have a little more yellow in that oh yeah no doubt no doubt the sides of this should catch a little more light now okay I added that I've got to go back more towards this orange here his leg needs some more of that lighter yellow up there with the oils of course well first of all less is more more is way too much second of all don't be hasty that's part of the book of wapple too he who makes haste with the oil paints uh, shall yield only mud so everybody please check out the instagram link there that gray wolf studio posted uh, some fabulous black plague zombicide miniatures so agree with you again i know it's a little bit late there my apologies all of these streams have been so darn late i have been trying to figure out you remember when we used to start our uh, saturday challenges about oh gee is four or five o'clock well technically some of them started at two o'clock central uh, but obviously that was where Kathy could uh, make food and do all that other kind of stuff while I continued to stream. And then I uh, would get the high sign. It's like, here, snarf this down, get back to stream. Uh, that I'm trying to figure out how to do something like that where it's just me. Uh, I have not figured that out yet. Maybe, maybe at some point we figure out some way of doing that. Uh, green fairy it's uh i mean people it's just, well, i know i i kind of use it as like you're on a pair of skis and you're going downhill and it's fun you got the wind in your face next thing you know you're totally out of control and then you got a tree in your face <laughs> because uh things just got a little out of control a little too quickly that can happen we we don't want that to happen so again uh don't be hasty that's where working on multiple figures at once can be very, very helpful. It, it quite literally does slow you down. So instead of just kind of racing through things, you, uh, you're you a little bit more measured, not quite so hasty again. All right, and let's do a little bit of this here. So I'll tell you what, if I was gonna if I was gonna do armies, I would just have nothing but glowing stuff on all of them, because it would take probably 20% less time, maybe more, depending on how much source lighting there is, to paint the same army. Remember the dwarves that I was showing not long ago? Okay, would I want to have to paint every little? different color detail in the armor in the cloaks on the skin or helmets 
or I basically just do orange. Ah, so Grey Wolf uh, had the, uh, the, the rapid approach to skiing there, the hasty approach. Well, Grey Wolf Studios, uh, I, I, it's been many years since I last had a chance to go ice skating. I loved ice skating. I actually kind of almost treated it like speed skating. There was one minor difficulty in that process, is the only way I knew how to stop was using the wall. I mean, seriously, that was the only way I knew how to stop, was like, oh, there's a wall. I guess I can stop now. Uh, hopefully, if I were to ever do, uh, well, my cross-country skiing or any sort of uh, ice skating, I would be able to maybe not have to use something as hard as a wall to stop or another person. Of course, yeah, other people, they're, they're generally not as hard as the wall. Uh, unfortunately, they, they have a tendency to kind of just slide along with you when you crash into them. So, yeah, I always... Uh, I, I did have fun with the ice skating. And again, I just... Uh, I love treating it like I was on a speed skating thing. The problem is with those ice rinks, well, there's a whole bunch of other folks out on the ice. Which, uh, again, kind of contributed to... Uh, well, shall we say some mishaps? Flashlight. And so it does reach, it does reach back to here just a, a tiny bit here. Now, Quantum Reveries does have a little bit of a pro tip there for all you young players and skiers out there. Uh, don't use a moose to stop yourself on your skis. Uh, and that is uh, that is very uh, that makes a lot of sense because well my my brother lives in the interior of Alaska at Denali National Park and he would ra way rather run into a grizzly bear than a moose. He says the grizzly bear is very smart and wants to avoid the humans. The moose is very stupid and will actually be much more aggressive towards the humans than a bear. So uh, Rottweiler, uh, yes, uh, humans as brakes. That, uh, that was kind of how I saw the other skaters in the arena. Sadly, they never quite lived up to that role. Again, they were a little too flexible not not terribly effective at uh well you, you see the height train right once it gets rolling it doesn't stop that would be me on skis or skates uh that that train is that train is moving it doesn't stop till it reaches the end of the line and and generally that's that's rather abrupt. Okay, let me get some of my floral orange here. There. Floral orange. Some of the uh, their naphthol scarlet. That's one of those. Uh, well, sadly, it's one of the alkyd colors. Uh, that is now discontinued by Gamlin. I, I just I wish I knew why they did that. Uh, Green Fairy Studios. When you were conducting your corporate corporate espionage there last year or the year before, would have been nice to know uh, also why they got rid of those. Everybody, please give Night Whisper a follow. So Night Whisper, great to see you again. Of course, if you want to share some of your oil painting stuff that you've been doing in the chat. I mean, it didn't have to be oil painting. I know you've been doing some of that lately. Uh, that was my number one suspicion there. I mean, it, it kind of always comes down to that right, uh, Green Fairy? Because they did keep 
the fast mat white. But uh, again, I have to say, now do I have this? Now I did hit it with the first round of the anti-shine. That was, uh, I mean, it worked well. You know, it does do the job. It does dry the paint faster, and that is the Galkid stuff as opposed to the uh, walnut oil-based stuff. Uh, Crazy Wolf, some of them are. So some of them are from Green Stuff World, and some of them are just the ones that I got on Amazon. Uh, I, I don't really know if there was any major difference between the two. Hmm, that, oh, that's, no, I gotta get me some of the Indian yellow. Ironically enough, though, when I put the Indian yellow in there to compensate for some of the peachiness that, say, the uh, adding the white or the opaque stuff adds, it <laughs> it makes it translucent again. So I kind of lose some of the opacity by trying to compensate for what the uh, the opacity adds is in terms of again that peachiness. Uh, so the marblers, uh, you can get those on Amazon. They come in pretty darn big bags, right? Uh, right, Green Fairy Studios. They come in really huge bags, and uh, that's what I use to make my latest batch of the fluorescence is the marbler stuff. Uh, I think the difference is Marblers has a less less uh, different color selection when it comes to the floral powdered pigments. And uh, Green Stuff World does definitely have more. No doubt about it. Let me see if I can't figure out what is happening here. Okay, ah, all right, so... Where's my wee little flower? Okay, so, wow. It doesn't reach. Wow, it actually reaches that, the other leg there. And it does, uh, we do need some of it out here. All right, good to know. Good to know. So here's uh, some of our orange out here. And then there's just a teensy bit of it that reaches over there, but again, not going to make that a really light orange either. Now it is time to take the uh, pearling red, a little bit of our violet here. We're going to start to put some uh, sharper, maybe darker details in some of this. Kind of going with all the lighter stuff here. Uh, so Crazy Wolf, the uh, the floros are kind of bound to be a little bit more on the chunky side. I mean, even the uh, Marion Street fluorescent oil paints can be a bit on the chunky side. So that's that's not a huge surprise necessarily. I have to say. Now uh, the fluorescent paints, the interference, uh, they, they just act really differently from regular oil paints. Especially the interference colors, holy smokes, those can really be chunky. Uh, I don't quite know what's, uh, what forces are at work for that, but uh, definitely happens. more of our darker red again that's just to try and maybe solidify an edge or two here. I guess I need some more thinner in this there we are Let's see if I can do a little more of the dark here on the again that's from make it epic here I just took a couple pieces of balsa wood 
and used my heavy gloss gel to quite literally sculpt in the fire. It took all of about 25 seconds max to create that fire effect. And it's the same thing uh, on a much bigger scale here that we did with our, where's my Rohan terrain there? So here's the, the building. Whoops, already passed that, sorry. There's our building, and you can again see the, the heavy gloss gel. There it is painted, and again, all the flame effects created with the heavy gloss gel. And you can see that on the channel here. Uh, that was one of our Twitch sessions. I also did at least one or two tutorial videos on the Rohan terrain for the Patreon page. But all of that different Rohan terrain, all that done on stream. Now let's get ourselves some reinforcing of some darks and some edges here too. Nice to see you there, AD. Everybody, please give AD Creations a follow. AD, if you want to share uh, links in the chat, please go ahead. Uh, great to see you. And again, hoping hoping that Adepticon is nice and easy for you. So everybody, please check out what Night Whisper just posted. And again, please give Night Whisper a follow. Once again, just trying to create some harder edges on some of this stuff. We did all the dry brushy things. Remember things must be messy before they can be neat. This is uh, maybe now where we start to get into stuff that's uh, a little bit neater. We will also uh, get into this with uh, some of our warmer grays too, so probably maybe something like Van Dyke Brown and combo that with, I would normally say Brilliant Yellow Pale. We don't have that on the palette. Now is another, another area where we need to get in there, all right. Now again, uh, Ad, I hope that the hope that the travel is uh, goes as easy as possible. Now here, so we're gonna take this. I might even just gravitate more towards the Van Dyke brown here, just so that is a bit on the warmer side. That's a little too light there. Uh, so yeah, Grey Wolf Studio that. Uh, Directional brush strokes, and of oh, it's too bad that uh, Halligan's not in here because Halligan also does the 2D art. But yes, uh, just the the way the brush strokes are oriented, that can also create its own type of contrast. And yes, I know we live in an environment. Where, oh my gosh, brush strokes are terrible. We shouldn't see any brush strokes. Well, I know folks. Uh, a lot of folks don't seem to be terribly enamored with all the AI stuff. Well, if you want something to look very AI-ish, get rid of all the brush strokes. Actually, even AI puts brush strokes in there. <laughs> now, now that I think about it, even AI does brush strokes. Because if you recall those, uh, the reference images from one of my recent tutorial videos where I just basically said paint such and such like a renaissance painting and they were brush strokes galore so even AI makes things with brush strokes so I, I just uh, I only mention that because I know with all the painting contest stuff the whole brush stroke thing seems to be very evil Uh, boy, Sarge, that is just, uh, you would think uh, that you lived, like, on the North Pole or something. 
that it's, it's just that hard to get any kind of actual reliable internet service there so again sorry that that is it's been months and months and months I realize of no bueno uh, again that that's some of our fast matte white some of the Van Dyke Brown uh, AD uh, it's basically when judges have to decide between two three or a hundred different pieces kind of the default mechanism is ah well this doesn't have any brush strokes the the blends are perfect so they can say well this one wins because we don't see any brush strokes having judged painting contests many times it is difficult because usually you have a whole bunch of pieces that seem to on their merits have all all be equal well for some the basically the tiebreaker is are there brush strokes if I can see a single brush stroke, well, I can just eliminate that one, and it essentially makes it very easy. Or you can just say, ah, well, I, I chose this one because I saw I didn't see any brush strokes. Uh, that again, that I'm not saying if it's good, if it's bad, or whatever. That's just uh, that is just the reality. I don't really do the painting contest thing myself, so <laughs> that's neither here nor there for me. I will throw a few things in at Adepticon more so uh, there's a bit of nostalgia there. And again, I will be uh, trying to finish off the one piece that Kathy had been working on on stream. I talked with the folks at Creature Caster, and they said they would be more than happy to uh, to let that piece from Kathy be entered. Because essentially it was it was basically painted, it just had to be assembled. Uh, all she really needed to do was final assembly and then the uh, whatever touch-ups, right? Because there'll be gaps or maybe paint gets wiped away somewhere. So it'll be 100% hers, just I have to put it together. And again, that was something that she had intended to do and just never, never got the chance. So we appreciate the folks at the Creature Caster allowing that. All right, so we've uh, kind of darkened it a little bit of our, a uh, little bit of our red there. Uh, some of the orange, some of the red. I'm going to hit that up here too. There, there we go. Let me consult the oracle of the flashlight to see. Oh, that does get some there. So yeah, uh, Lethal says, um, I wonder if that's just something that after you've used it X amount of hours, that it just, that happens. All right, anything else? Uh, now, uh, here, actually, what I want to try and do, oh, and by the way, we're using one of the paint sides here. We're going to take some of our Terra Rosa. And uh, I'm going to take some of the asphaltum here, and we are going to try and do a little bit, a little bit of rust here, a little bit of rust. Uh, actually, Lethal Shadows, what's interesting, that did sort of coincide with it getting insanely warm here. So I, I wonder if that had something to do with it. Because, uh, yeah, I think that's when it started to get to be like 70 degrees here. So maybe that had something to do with it. Now, do I have enough of the... Yeah, okay, here we go. We need some of that in here. Now, if it's too warm, right, it's just going to look like fire light. Uh, so lethal shadows that is that's good to know because uh if that is the case i might shift the location of that printer which is no big deal because i mean i can just put it where the air conditioners are so 
So I, I just, uh, I wonder if that may have had something to do with it. Now again, warmer is all relative. I don't really know if that actually made a difference, but... Uh, yeah, I still have to do the, uh, I still want to run the, whatchamacallit there, the... Uh, blow out some of that dust and debris and stuff that may or may not have gotten in there with my fabulous is it here oh, it, oh here it is yeah so this is pretty wild this is usb chargeable and there's three different speeds so instead of buying all that costly compressed air get something like this I, I actually use this to clean the leaves out of my gutters. It's that powerful. On the top setting, it'll blow those leaves like six feet in the air. All right, well, lethal shadows in that case. In that case, then I will... Uh, and it's funny because it's in one of the cooler parts of the basement. That is actually one of the cool... Because there's no uh, heat vents nearby. But yeah, lethal shadows. It just uh, it just doesn't put down any plastic. Not for the extrusion, not for the print, and it does. Uh, it just kind of keeps going merrily along, thinking everything's uh, copacetic. There, hey Kagome's Fury, how you doing? Everybody, please give Kagome's Fury a follow. And again, uh, lethal shadows. If you would like to share your website there, uh, if you have. If you need things printed and you do not, we're talking about 3D printing right now. If you need stuff printed and you don't have a printer, well, that's not a problem. You just uh, you just go to the Lethal Shadows site and you you just uh, say, hey, look, I need this, this, and this printed, and they'll they'll do that for you. And of course, uh, Kogomi's Fury, if you would like to share anything in the chat, please go on ahead. And of course, again, silent by design. You want to share anything? Please go ahead, and do that too. So everybody, please check out lethalshadows.com. And of course, lethal shadows. If you want to tell them where you're going to be, uh, the booth at PAX is TT01. The brand new paint line is there. Uh, Was it you buy five, you get one free? Right, lethal shadows. Hey there, Merlin Models. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. And everybody, please check out the Instagram link there that Kagomi's Fury shared. And then please also give Kagomi's Fury that follow. Uh, so launch a new, you have buy five, you get one for free. And again, it's it's the whole enchilada there. It's all the colors, all all 90. Full paint line with, uh, again, all the specialty colors too. So that's not something that's going to be, you know, oh, you got to wait for those. They're all, all out there at once for you. What are we doing here? Well, dark there. Let me see if I can sharpen up some of these edges right there. Okay. Uh, maybe trying to put in a few little extra cracks or something here. Uh, even uh, li liquid masking, some brush shampoo. Oh, and, and again, those mediums too. So like I said, it's not one of those things where, oh, uh, it's the first 10 colors and then you got to wait for the next set and the next set. It's all it's all happening all at once. And uh, again, if you're at PAX, you can test it out right there live in the booth. Again, with that, uh, that special pricing there too. Uh, yep, Kagome Fury. I have entire armies with that. There's my Harad army that has it. And, of course, uh, we painted these up on stream as well. 
Oh, one second. I think I might have scrolled on past it. Yeah, there they are. So we painted two units of these. And I have several tutorial videos on the Patreon page that covers how to do that. And again, we did the same thing for my uh, Harad army. So, yep, just like uh, Leto Shadow said, uh, everything is uh, all up front right there. Uh, no waiting. No waiting at all. Uh, thanks, Kagomis Fury. The uh, Now for the... Oh, gosh, what are they? Uh, for my Far Harad, I actually did more like a Serengeti type of a basing scheme for all the, the camels and such. Or the Mahouds. Yes, the Mahouds and the Mahoud Riders. Uh, Kagomis, Furia, even, well, let's see, the Asphaltum is just such a fantastic color. Uh, it's actually a color that I use on the horses, too. I use it on skin tones, but... Oh, sadly, I don't... I. If you were to, to uh, look at the, uh, the session where I was painting some of the terrain... And I look at the colors that we used on the uh, on the stone part of it. Those waterfall things. That was a bit of the asphaltum, a bit of the uh, Hansa yellow, and then actually I think uh, like radiant violet or something. So Arda Michael, here's hoping. I know you keep losing time. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute, I just lost another day. Wait a minute, you're gonna take another day away from me? But here's hoping you can kind of get past that and uh, start doing the stuff that you want. Same thing here. So again, it's a make-your-own bundle. If you're going to do the buy five, get one free. You're not restricted to, oh, well, you can only get these. You can get whatever you want. I'm going to use the Lethal Shadows brush as a blending brush. Why? Because they are nice and soft. So, uh, Tomatan, how are you doing? Uh, I know you've been in here for a little while. As always, thanks for joining me. And, of course, uh, now we can say Happy St. Patrick's Day. Because, well, actually, almost a half an hour ago, it became St. Patrick's Day here. Still not quite that yet for our folk, our friends on the uh, West Coast. Uh, so yeah, Kagomis Fury, the uh, that that terrain should uh, show you that. I, again, I have I have a ton of other videos, uh, lots of uh, fun ways to get what looks like a yellowish color with very little actual yellow. I, I know that might sound a little wild, but yeah, actually with not a whole lot of actual yellow in it. Now we need, yeah, we need to get a little bit more of this dark down in here. I will use some of our Van Dyke Brown, some of the Mars, Mars Black here. Uh, well, what time time? Glad you're able to work on your Resin Beast entry. On his visor if I can right there maybe a touch more light on the fingers here maybe a little something on the, the gun here too well, Rico's mom thank you so much for being here and thank you so much. Appreciate uh, everything. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And well, enjoy the chow. I know it's going to be glorious because, well, it was uh, it was made by Recoil. So thank you so much. And you have a, a good one there, Recoil's mom. I mean, uh, that, so I wasn't, uh, I was not really exaggerating, right, Tinganes? It is unbelievably easy to get that norovirus. I think that's why, uh, well, it happens on ocean liners, right, Inganis? 
all it takes is one person to get it. And if there's 2,000 people on that ship, there's 2,000 people with norovirus. And uh, then it, it basically becomes a plague ship at that point. I think that's what they call them, too, is just plague ships. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, well, Kathy's mom and sister in April, they wanted to do a cruise to just try and kind of get away from things. And I'm just, uh, that that's the one thing that worries me is that they'll get nuked by, well, the norovirus on that cruise, cruise ship there. Uh, here's another case where I'm going to get back into, uh, where's my, there's my indigo here. Come on, because that lighter that's too thick, need to take some of that away. Mm. Uh, so Navarro uh, says that uh, they better get the bilge pumps going because uh, if you have the uh, projectile stuff going on, like they have there, uh, Arid, I hope that uh, hope that that was a very relaxing shower, nice and chill for you. Mm, let me. Uh, the Oracle of the Flashlight. I'm gonna go the opposite way up here, but it's too much thinner. So this. Get some of the cooler light because it is not being impacted by the flames over here. Uh, I don't know Spotty S Shark. You can check out the, uh, it's on their uh, YouTube channel here. So it's a Halo Flashpoint Spartans teaser trailer. That's on the Mantic website. It's only about 30 seconds long, but you can. Uh, you can glean what you can from that. The, uh, they didn't tell me. Uh, I do have uh, some 3D printed ones, but then these came in, and these these were the ones they wanted me to, to paint right here. So again, Spotty is sure great to see you. Uh, let me see. Where it is? Fine, maybe I'll just use this right here. So thank you so much, Armored Wolf, for posting a link to the, that's to the video right there. Uh, there's, there's uh, four sculpts right here. I'm sure there will be, uh, I'm sure there'll be much more, right? I'm sure there's going to be more. So here, just doing a little bit of pin line washy stuff here. That's going to happen under here. Darker this gets, lighter that gets, because reasons. Uh, so Armored Wolf, that was the weirdest way I've ever seen those lights packaged. Because mine was just a, it was just a square box. Right, totally square. That thing was really weird, and the only reason I even knew what the heck it was is because I kind of looked at it and I saw it said 60 lights. Now I am going to try and peel some of this away, and I'm just going to try and get some of my not blackest black here because I want to see what's happening uh, with the base up here. So first peel some of this away here. Grab this. Again, this is my not blackest black. Uh, I think we're pretty good there. I think we're all right. I don't think I need to make the actual base itself any lighter or darker based on what I'm seeing here. <laughs> 